Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are improving upon our previous video of making a loading screen. So we are making it better. Here's how we left it. It's just a very, very simple loading screen. It's still going to be a very simple loading screen, uh, but we are going to fade it in and fade it out. And we're also going to add a progress bar that will, uh, it won't necessarily show like the literal progress of things being loaded. We're just going to animate the progress bar, uh, but the user would never know the difference. And this is what it's going to look like. So it fades in, it's got a progress bar and then it fades out. It's a whole lot more polished, a whole lot smoother, and it just feels a lot better. And yeah, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is we need to rename some of this stuff like the local script. I want to name it to be uh, loading screen GUI. Uh, we can leave the frame. Let's rename the text label to be loading text. And let's enable this so we can see it. And so what you need to do is you need to add in another frame underneath the existing frame. All right, this is going to be our progress bar container. So let's name it that progress bar container. We want the background color to be black, but we want the border color to be white. And we want to make the border size, let's do five. And so now it's an empty container. And then we will place another frame inside this in a, in a minute, and then we will just animate that frame uh, to fill up the container. So you want, whenever you look at the position and scale, you want the first number to be a decimal for both the X and the Y, and you want the last number to be zero. Now, if it the first number is zero, and the second number is like something like a hundred and something or, or whatever, anything greater than one or anything greater than zero. I mean, you want to zero it out. You want to do that for both the position and the size. So yeah, that'll make it. So if you like change your screen size, the loading bar or the, yeah, the, the progress bar will stay where it is on the screen. I know this isn't making any sense. Just trust me. But the good thing is once you once you get the, the scale set for both the position and the size and the offset on zero, then you can move it around to wherever you want and it'll just it'll just adjust the scale properties. It won't adjust the offset. Now underneath the progress bar container, click the plus icon and add in another frame. And this is going to be our progress bar. This is what we're going to actually animate to fill up uh, the progress bar container. So you see how by default, I wish it didn't do this. It sets the offset for both the size and the, well, the position is zeroed out, um, but the size is offset, is set to 100. So we need to zero that, zero that. And for the Y scale, it needs to be one because we want it to completely fill up the progress bar container going up and down. And for the X scale, we actually want zero. But if we were to put this to one, or let's do like 0.9, you see how it fills up nine tenths of the, of the uh, progress bar container. So that's what we're going to animate this property right here, we're just going to make it go from zero to one. If we do one, it fills it up completely. Uh, we can, we can just leave it at one or let's do 0.5. It really doesn't matter because we're going to animate it through our script and yeah, make sure that the position position is still zeroed out. That's what we want for the progress bar. So now once you get your progress bar container with the progress bar 
set up the way you want. Uh, make sure that like if you change your screen size, that it still stays relatively close to where you want it to, to be on the screen. If it doesn't, if it's like really goofy, whenever you try to resize your screen, that's because you've got the offsets uh, set. Uh, you need to do the scale, not the offset. All right, so once you get that, then we need to go into our script, which is now the loading screen GUI script. I'm gonna bring this loading screen delay variable down a little bit. And we need to get a reference to our tween service. So our tween service is what we are going to use for uh, fading in and fading out and animating the progress bar. So we're, this is what we're going to be using to pretty much do all of this stuff. Get service, tween service. Then we need a local fade duration. And this will be the time it takes to fade in and out. And we need a local progress duration and we'll say three for three seconds and this will be the time it takes for the loading bar to fill up then we can actually get rid of this because we're going to fade it in we don't want to set the loading screen enabled to be true immediately we want to fade it in with a tween so get rid of that this uh we're gonna we're gonna get rid of it but we're gonna bring it back uh, just later on further down in the script so we need to get our frame we need to get a reference to our frame and that'll be our loading screen which is our loading screen GUI and then we will do wait for child frame and then now we need to get our prog progress bar container and that'll be our frame wait for child progress bar container and then now we need to get our progress bar and that'll be our progress bar container wait for child progress bar and we also need to get a reference to our loading text and that will be frame wait for child loading text all right now we need a tween info variable so this will be what our tweening service uses uh, whenever it is fading in and fading out it will use the tween info to help do the fading. Uh, sorry if that doesn't make sense. Uh, not really sure the best way to explain tweening. There's like several steps to it. And I would just recommend if, if you want to understand it better to just uh, look up some, some videos on the tweening service in Roblox Studio. And I'll try to make a few in the future. Uh, but for now, just copy what I do. So tween info dot new, and we need to do fade duration. The first variable is like how long it takes to do the tween. The second one is the style. So we'll say enum dot easing style. And I like quad. And then we'll do enum uh, easing direction. And we'll do out. And you don't have to understand that. Just, just copy me. I, I hate to just say just copy me, but just copy me. So now we need to make a function for fading in. So we'll just comment right here, function to fade in the loading screen. And we'll say local function fade in. Oops, don't need those brackets and don't know why it's not adding in an end but i'll just do it manually local function fade in 
and we'll say local tween equals tween service colon create and pass through the frame, pass through the tween info, and then we want to set the background transparency. Jeez, background transparency equals zero. What is going on here? Why is this not? Oh, I, I, it's because I misspelled function. Okay, that's better. Anyways, so then we will say just tween colon play. So that is simple enough, uh, but the function to fade out, uh, function to fade out is going to be a lot more stuff we got to type. So fade out the loading screen include all elements. So we will say local function fade out. And in that we need to fade out the entire frame progress. container progress bar and loading text so we will say local frame tween equals tween service colon create pass through the frame pass through the tween info and set the background transparency equals to one. All right, next line, say local. Let me get this so y'all can see all the text on the screen. But now we will say local progress bar container tween equals tween service colon create pass through the progress bar container pass through the tween info and background transparency equals one local progress bar tween equals tween service create we want to pass through the progress bar pass through the tween info and set the background transparency to one. And then local loading text tween equals tween service colon create. Pass through the loading text, pass through the tween info, and then set the background transparency to one. Then we need to play all tweens simultaneously. And so we will say frame tween colon play progress bar container tween colon play progress bar tween colon play loading text tween colon play and then we want to wait for all of them to complete so we will say wait for all tweens to complete and to do that we will just say frame tween dot completed wait 
progress bar container tween dot completed colon wait progress bar tween dot completed colon wait loading text tween dot completed colon wait all right so that does it for our fade out function so now we need to create a, another function for animating the loading bar so we will say function to animate the loading bar and so this will be local function animate progress bar and inside that we want to set the progress bar size to zero on the start so progress bar dot size equals udim dot new and this will be zero comma zero comma one comma zero and this resets to zero now we need to create a bar tween local bar tween equals tween service colon create and we'll pass through our progress bar and tween info dot new we're just going to do a new one we're not going to make it separate we're just going to do it all on this line so to do that we'll just say tween info dot new and the duration will be the progress duration that variable that we created earlier and then we want to set the size to be udim2.new and it'll be one so this will the one the first one is what will fill it up is is by setting it to one that's what's going to animate this property zero to one everything else is going to stay the same so zero comma one comma zero then we just need to play the bar tween so bar tween colon play so now in our on character added function before the wait uh, for the loading screen we want to animate the progress bar and then after that we want to do a fade out so we want to fade out the loading loading screen all elements after the loading is done so we just say fade out And that's all we got to do for that function. And before we connect the function for uh, this function to our character added event, this is where how we deleted this earlier. Now we need to set the initial fade in of the loading screen. And to do that, you just say loading screen dot enabled equals true and after that we want to call in our fade in function and then we need to also disable the default loading screen so disable the default loading screen and remember that is just replicated first colon disable or not disable remove default loading screen and cross your fingers and press play and I think it should work let's see nope it did not work so what did we do wrong it says unable to sign 
Uh, we got right here on loading screen 48. I should have typed in UDEM2. I typed in just UDEM. Right here. UDEM2. So let's hit play now. And there we go. It fades away. Ah, oh, but the loading text didn't fade away. So what did I do wrong there? Oh, I see what I did. Uh, so right here on loading text tween, the background tech transparency, that's not the property we want to set. We want to set the text transparency to one. So now we press play and it loads. Everything should fade away and everything is working. So yeah, uh, hopefully you followed along and got the same results. Uh, if you didn't, I'm going to copy and paste that script into a comment below in the comment section. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you want to see anything else on the loading screen, please let me know in the comments and I might do it in another video. But for now, uh, I will see you guys in the next one.